I have stage four. So my cancer came back and that's why I'm here. I mean, I'm petrified. Uh, I'm pretty scared. Shannon Doherty reveals her breast cancer has returned. The Beverly Hills 90210 star opened up to Good Morning America's Amy Robach, a breast cancer survivor herself, about fighting the disease for a second time. I don't think that I've processed it. It's a bitter pill to swallow in a lot of ways. It's not fair. Why oh, me? I definitely why me? days where I say, why me? And then I go, well, why not me? Who else? You know? Who else besides me deserves this? None of us do. Shannon was originally diagnosed with breast cancer in February 2015, and she later entered remission. But now she's revealing that she's been privately fighting this battle for almost a year, which means she was living with this news while preparing to film the reboot BH90210 and found out that her longtime pal Luke Perry had died of a stroke. It was so weird for me to be diagnosed and then somebody who was you know seemingly healthy to go first it was really like shocking and the least i could do to honor him was do that show the 48 year old actress said she hopes her work on the series shows that people with stage four cancer can work you know, our life doesn't end the minute we get that diagnosis. We still have some living to do. Shannon's rock throughout it, her co-star Brian Austin Green, the only co-star Shannon says she told. Brian was the one person who, of that group of people that knew. Prior to shooting, he would always call me and say, listen, you know, whatever happens, like, I have your back. Making matters worse, Shannon is also knee deep in another fight, a lawsuit against her insurance company, State Farm, after her home was damaged during the California wildfires in 2018. ET has reached out to State Farm for comment. They said, quote, we empathize with Miss Doherty's health issues and wish her a full recovery. We strongly believe we have upheld our commitment to our customer and have paid what we owe on this claim. We are prepared to defend our position in court. Shannon said her decision to speak out about her stage four cancer diagnosis is only because court docs detailing her health conditions will be made public ahead of the trial. And I'd rather people hear it from me. Um, I don't want it to be twisted. I don't want it to be a court document. I want it to be real and authentic and I want it to, I want to control the narrative. I want it I want people to know from me. Shannon was especially tearful when it came to talking about her loved ones. When she opened up to ET in 2016, she praised her mom and her husband for staying by her side throughout her first bout with cancer. She's so strong. My mom is like, you know, She's a still magnolia. She's a southern girl, and um, she puts on this very brave, strong face with me. You know, her and my husband tag team. It's like this amazing, you know, they've really come together to take care of me. Most impressive of all, Shannon's resilience and positive mindset. Do you believe that everything truly happens for a reason? You know, I still am searching for that reason. Um, yes, I think it's to help people, but I think it's something bigger. and. Um, and I do believe that, you know, God will show me what that is at some point. And I just have to trust. I want to stay positive and I want to believe that if I, if I fight and I take care of myself, that I'm going to be okay. E.T. is wishing Shannon all the best, and I certainly admire her determination and her passion for helping others. Till next time, I'm Deidre Behar. Thanks for watching.